open your favorite terminal client. Whether that's terminal on Mac or Hyper or Git Bash or something on Windows. Let's just make sure we're all using Bash or something Bash-like. Try typing ls, make sure that command works. Does ls not work for anybody? Okay, good. Then we're all using Unix-E type shells. We need a place to put all of our projects for the boot camp. So let's make a new directory for that. Let's make a dir. So we make a dir with mkdir, make dir, xtbc, something like that. Whatever you want to call it. Just something to put all your projects in for the class. After you make the dir, remember you're not yet in the dir. You must still type cd space. I'm just going to hit x and hit tab. Good. I know it's there. Enter. Don't forget about tab completion. It makes things a lot easier when you have long names and stuff. And it makes you sure that you're in the right directory. If I started typing XTB and hit tab and nothing auto-completed, I must not be in the directory I thought I was. So here I am. I am now in XTBC because I made it and then I changed into it. Then I want to make a directory for our first project. Please put all your projects in separate directories. So I'm going to mukadir one more time. MKDIR and Anybody in here a wizard or a witch or sorcerer? Anything like that? Got any sorcerers? No? It was one in the morning. Zach, what's your Patronus? You have a Patronus? Um, I'd probably say snake. A snake? I don't know. <laughs> Mine, mine's a giant anteater. <laughs> so... It's hard to keep track of all the magic words, right? So we're going to make a spell book. So let's mukdur spell book. Yeah. Don't forget, after you make it, change into it. That does not happen all in one step. Yes. Okay, try using git bash. So cd into spell book. Does git bash work? That's okay. Can you type ls? Okay, it's fine. Just mkdir xtbc, change into it, mkdir spellbook, cd into that. Just make sure you're in this directory now. Now here's the part that based on my email over the weekend is not going to work for about half of you. But let's try this. Code space dot. It's okay. We'll fix it. Code space dot. You know how to refer to the, the, the directory one level up from where you are at any time? Dot dot. Like cd dot dot would always take you up a level. cd dot, well, dot refers to the current directory. So you pass in a current directory dot as an argument to code, and it should open code in the directory where you currently are. And we're going to do that so that we don't ever accidentally create files in the wrong directory, which happens a lot and it makes troubleshooting a big pain in the neck um, because all kinds of stuff goes wrong. So if this did not work for you, the first thing we're going to try, who didn't it work for? Okay, command not found, right? Yeah. Okay, first thing we're gonna try. Uh, any of the Mac users? Okay, so as a general rule, when I say command, that's control on Windows. And that's true of this, this as well. So on Mac, shift command P, on Windows, shift, control, P. It should bring up this little thing and type shell. And hopefully you see shell command, install code command in path. Choose that one, install code command in path. Then open a new terminal window and try again. Yeah. What? What's up? It doesn't do anything? I'm sorry, in, inside Visual Studio Code. So you need to launch code manually. I'm sorry. Uh, so launch code from the, from the start menu or wherever it is. Yeah. As long as, you, as long as you know what you're doing, yeah. 
we just won't be able to help you with, with certain things. What are you using? Uh, yeah. Okay, Adam, most of the commands are the same anyway. So you can totally do Adam dot from the command line. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look for uh, shell command, install code command in path. Is it not there? Let's have a look. I saw one other person where it just plain wasn't there. Yeah, that's what I saw last time. What the heck? That's so weird. Okay, I'll be with you in just a sec. 